Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, welcome today, inshallah, uh, to this session of how to destroy your ta'weez and why you should destroy your ta'weez. Now, the reason why is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يَغْفِرُ أَن يُشْرَكَ بِهِ وَيَغْفِرُ مَا دُونَ ذَلِكَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ Allah says, He will forgive anything else but put in partners with Him. Put in partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a grave sin. It is a sin that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive. But He forgives anything other than that. The Prophet sallallahu says, Whoever hangs something on his neck, or on his horse, or his car, or his home, he's entrusted with that what he's hanged. This is a hadith that is sahih. Brothers and sisters, it is a serious matter that when you hang something and you believe it protects you, or it heals you, you have committed partners, i.e. shirk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You've committed association in worship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is forbidden in Islam. Barakallahu feekum. Now we're gonna demonstrate to you what are inside these ta'awizes and what you're calling for, i.e. you're calling the help of the devils, inshallah, I will prove it to you in this session. Now, what I'm going to show you now is that there's different types of ta'awizes that are being given to the public. This ring here, this ring was given to this man who could not be um, intimate with his wife. Then we have a ta'awiz that most people carry as a one like a tube cylinder type which has uh, wax and some form of writing in here. It looks very old. And a leather pouch, which they've gone in great depth of trying to protect so it does not get soaked in water. And a larger one here, as you can see. Now, remember, if you want to get rid of these, you should always be protected by doing your adhkar as sabah and masa. Make sure that you pray five times a day. Okay? Now, I'm going to open one of these, bi'idhnillah, to show you what's inside. Bi'idhnillah. And I can say, I can guarantee that there won't be only Qur'an here if there's Qur'an. There will be symbols, there will be writings, there will be grids and boxes. And I have not opened it and I'm, I do not know the unseen. If you're going to open these ta'awizes, uh, I suggest you have certain tools. So you have like a cutting board, like this. You can get one from an art shop or from the, uh, the kitchen, just like this one. Um, have a glass of water. Now recite the three quls, okay, and blow. Just like this, you say, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Qul a'udhu bi Rabbi al Falak, Min Sharri ma khalak, Wa Min Sharri Ghasiqin ida waqab, Wa Min Sharri Naffa Thirty fil Uqad, Wa Min Sharri Hasidin ida Hasad, and you blow like this. You can say this three times, and then you can read Qul a'udhu Rabbi al Nas, and you can read Qul Wallah had three times. Once you've done that, you can place that to the side. And now, the tools I advise you to have is a standing knife if you're an adult. If you're not, make sure there's an adult present. Uh, a small a screwdriver, something like this. Um, this can come in handy. Pliers like this with a long end. Or if you don't have these, you can maybe get one of these. Pliers is very good. Okay. Um, a lighter, or should come in handy. And I'll show you why. Uh, a smaller screwdriver which can help. Now, this one is very good. Sometimes it's very hard to open a, a ta'weez because they've been um, sealed. This is very good to cut them open. So all these come in handy. I've used all of these in opening ta different ta'weezes. Uh, a file, again, will come in handy for the ring. Okay, so now let's demonstrate this first ta'weez and how to get rid of it. Bismillah. And everything that you do should say Bismillah. Now, be careful because the level on this one, it is very thick. Now, I've opened it, as you can see. As you can see, this is being wrapped up with another thread in a very particular way, which we find many ta'awiz is done that way. So, there's the cup. I'll put this in here. Now, I don't think there's anything in this, but I'll just, for safety, I'll put it in here. Now, let's see what's inside this. Remember I said that I don't believe it only be Qur'an, there'll be other things in here like grids and boxes and so on. You can close this. I can make out these are just cut out letters. You can see this Elif, 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 Elif. There's not really... This is Talsam. These are all just charms uh, which are inspired by devils which teach people to do this. Once I put that in there, 
Once I've done this, I will dry it and burn it. And that was the end of that taweez. Bismillah. Bismillah. That's done. That's finished. Okay. Okay. So this taweez is a different type. So look what you do. You look for the seam. And the seam is right here, if the camera can see. It's a little gap. On this one, it's totally sealed. Here, there's a seam. There it is. Open like that. Sometimes it's glued. Like on this one, it's sealed with a glue okay like a super glue or something on two sides now inside here is what you can see is names of Fir'aun, Iblis and it's just basically works of Shayateen so brothers and sisters I mean look at this Numerud Fir'aun, 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 Shaytan, Iblis, his names are written in these ta'weez that hanged on the neck. When you hang on something on your neck, it's though that you love this thing that you have in your neck. To the extent that you wear it when you're sleeping, when you wake up, and when you're doing all types of activities in your life, and you constantly have this in your neck. So, inshallah, bin'llah, the ring that I spoke to you earlier about, I'm going to show you how to destroy it by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This ring was engraved things on here, which is of magic, and one of them is called the charm of Suleiman. There's two parts to this. One is getting rid of the engravement, and the other is to cut the ring and not leave it solid anymore. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate that as well. So what you see here is Talsan Suleiman, the charm of Suleiman. You get your pliers, hold it still on the table, get your file and start just like that. Bismillah. Okay. Now I have a piece of paper underneath, and the reason why is so all the dust all will just fall in the paper, and I can just pick it up afterwards. Okay. Now I'm going to show you on this star. Okay. This star that you can see here, I'm going to show and demonstrate on that star. Okay. Okay. And there's no need to be scared to do this. Everyone at home can do this. If you have this ring. You can get rid of this. As you can see, it's going down. Now that star is gone. And they'll go around the whole ring doing the same thing. Last but not least is to cut the ring in half. Or at least take one link. Bismillah. Bismillah. Now, for safety, okay, because that acts like a knot, okay, and like we know, every knot should be unknotted for the sih to be broken. So from the ta'weezes that are given, this is another type that's been, that's been given, and that is thread with knots. Every knot, one by one, you just press your blade on top of it like so, and you can read Qur'an as well like, falaq wa nas, bismillah. It might seem tedious, but it's advised to unknot every single knot on this thread. So you're at home and you've just seen this video, how to destroy your ta'weez. So take the ta'weez challenge by taking down your ta'weez. Maybe it's on your neck, maybe it's in your car. Take it down, there's no benefit in it. And the proof was that I showed you today what's inside. It's all to do with seeking the help of Fir'aun. Where is Fir'aun? Where are they? Where is Namrud? Where are they? Are they going to help you? Is Iblis going to help you? It is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that answers the dua of those who are desperate. So do not be deceived by those who deceive you. So take your picture and send it to us at ta'weezproject.com. Barakallahu feekum. Subhanallahu bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayk.